Um, my church is, uh, we're about 60% full. So, which is pretty good, right? Uh, we used to have like 8,000 or so on a Sunday and we would now we're having about 5,000 or so. But our, the funny thing is, is that our collections aren't down at all, right? And that is in a large way because the people that were faithful and giving, they came back. And that's not a COVID thing in case anyone's a little bit more sensitive. Um, I'm just saying that like, I've noticed that those that are participating in our live stream, those that are there, it are already kind of there. And that kind of, I think that as we see that, it's going to be great because a lot of times when there's just a lot of Christians, we, we tend to look to our right and to our left and to judge ourselves off of other people. And so they were like, oh, I'm doing pretty good compared to my neighbor. But now if there's just saints gathering together, you're like, man, I, I have someplace to grow. Uh, and you can see that when your community is smaller. So I'm actually looking forward um, to how we go and how it changes our evangelization and the young men that are being called. At my height, I had 20 guys enter one year. My first year, I had 14. My last year of accompanying and recruitment, I had four guys enter. But they were the right four guys. I had a lot of guys during COVID that, you know, because of the isolation, because of the loneliness, fell back into some old habits and patterns of sin. And I was like, I love you, but we can't have you entering into seminary at this stage, right? This isn't the place to battle back, right? We need to, we need to work. And, or they stopped praying as much, right? They weren't going to mass. I understand. But like, if they're not having that at least daily half an hour, for, is what I would expect for a man in January December. If not having that on a regular basis, daily, then it's just not ready yet. And we don't want to force the Lord. We want to give him space. We had four guys, but they were, they were good four guys. And I said this to all the vocation directors, the new vocation directors last week. A good no to me is more important than a good yes.